Today is a very special episode of the fast lane truck for many reasons. First, we're doing a towing MPG test with a 2016 Ford F-150 with a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. But we're also changing the rules and I'll explain coming up right now. Now, I would like to introduce a new sponsor for Fastlane Truck, CM Trailers. And they've provided this 20-foot cargo trailer that we'll be using basically for all of our half-ton truck testing. So we've changed the trailer, we've changed the hitch, but we're not changing our route or the fueling station or the speed. So let's get some fuel. Easy fuel, no cap, it's a capless system. This F-150 is rated at 16, MPG in the city, 22 on the highway, and 18 combined. Now what we're changing is, we're changing the weight we're towing for the MPG tests. This 20-foot cargo trailer by CM is loaded to 7,000 pounds. And if you've watched TFL truck before, you know that we've been using a 5,600 pound horse trailer for all of our MPG testing. But we wanted to change the trailer and change the weight to more closely match to what you guys are towing out there. So we're gonna get you real world numbers for the MPG on the highway. All right, Brian, well, thanks for coming along with me. Yeah, no problem. My okay. pleasure. You know, this is, um, this is a very nice Ford F-150, so I'm looking forward to this trip. Yeah, do you, um, this is a limited model. Do you know how much this retails at? Like just over 67,000. Yeah, 67,270 yeah. $67, dollars. It's a fly here, I gotta get this out of here. Uh, yeah, we can't yeah. have this fly for 100 Plus, miles, I think can if we? we roll down all the windows and move, we'll get rid of it. He's them. gonna come out. Anyway, so let me reset the trip computer real quick. So why are we changing the weight? So here's the thought, we're changing the weight in order to match a situation that you guys are probably experiencing yourself. Right, we got some comments of, you know, it, it's great everything that you're doing, but it doesn't really apply to us in the real world. Yeah, so, because we're using the 5,600 pound trailer across all trucks, heavy yeah. duties, light duties, and midsize. Yep. So now we're gonna change the weights. We're gonna use 7,000 pounds for our half tons. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna use a heavier weight for our heavy duties and a lighter trailer, smaller trailer for our mid-sized trucks. We're getting on the highway and I'm accelerating pretty gently. I'm not flooring it. And we're gonna go about 49 miles one way and 49 another for a 98 mile loop mm -hmm. and set the cruise control at 70, which is the speed we always run at with the trucks unloaded or with a trailer. Now we're running this highway MPG loop for two reasons. First, we've never had a 3.5 liter EcoBoost on our 100 mile towing test before. But there's a second reason. We wanted to compare this current 3.5 and the six speed automatic transmission to the 2017 version of the engine and the 10 speed and see how they compare in the real world. Yeah, and isn't that 10 speed jointly developed along with GM and they're yeah. going to use it as well? Yeah, GM is using it as well. I asked Ford to give me more details and they said they, they didn't want to disclose you know, what parts Ford you know, worked on and tweaked and what parts GM tweaked. Mm -hmm. But right now, the 2017 Camaro ZL1 is using that transmission. Okay. And the next F-150, the 2017, is gonna use that, as well as the Raptor. Right. It's gonna have the 10-speed transmission as well. Hey, let's do some predictions. I'm predicting 10 MPG towing based on my previous experience with other trucks. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what do you think? I'll go higher. You go higher? I'll do over, under, I'll say over. You're gonna, you're gonna go over 10, yeah. 10 MPG? Yeah, it's the EcoBoost. Um, and right now we're running at what, 2,000 RPM? It's just Give under 2,000 RPM, That's, so it's doing really well. Yeah. Okay, well let's see how it does. We're excited to have Ginny Hitch as our sponsor for all of our towing tests 
and Mr. Truck is going to tell you all about it. It's spelled G-E-N-Y. It's a very heavy duty hitch. I would call it a commercial military grade type hitch. And this one here is a five and a half inch drop. You see the three holes. And that's what's unique about it is your ball goes into those holes. So it's not just a pin carrying the weight of your trailer tongue. It is actually plate metal, which is very unusual. This five and a half inch drop, I use a nine inch drop. I mean, you can drop these all the way down. If you have a big lifted truck, this will go like three feet. So very versatile hitch. And this one also, you attach this and you've got a pencil hitch. So you got a pencil, you got two balls. You can also put a third ball here. We're gonna be using it with weight distributing hitch, which bolts onto this. We'll show you that. Genie hitch, this is what we're gonna be using for all of our bumper pull trailers. Hoorah! Okay, so you got your grease? I have my grease! Because I like greasy balls, okay. makes everything last longer. Do you know what this truck weighs? This truck weighs quite a lot actually. Almost 5,600 pounds. Okay. Because we have every option. We have the panoramic sunroof. We have the ramps. We got 22s and that's got a big part of it. We got 22s and you know how that affects us? Uh, we got 22 inch rims with Scorpion, uh, Pirelli Scorpion tires. And because of that, our tow rating, our max tow rating is actually a little bit lower than other trucks, F-150s. We're at 10,400 pounds. All right, we're coming up on the turnaround point. We've we gone about um, 46 miles and guess the MPG. Mm, According to the computer. Is it more than 10? No, it's not. It's not looking good for you. We're pulling up to the fueling station, and um, the oh. computer says 8.1. So my only hope is that Ford severely underestimates their fuel mileage. Okay, I'm gonna use the same method, let it fill up and double click to top off. Okay, we're getting close to 10 gallons, dude. So, hopefully it doesn't go too much further. Ooh, I'm gonna wait uh, 30 seconds. Let the fuel settle a little bit so we can top off and get a correct reading. So the damage is 11.503. We've got 98 miles. Divide by 11.503 gallons. And the result is 8.5. You see that? So it's actually better because the computer said 8.1. But uh, you lost the bet. You said over 10. I win the bet. Um, it was over under. But I'm really curious. Uh, how the 2017 F-150 is going to do with a new 10-speed automatic and the new generation of their EcoBoost engine. So go back to tfltruck.com for more news, views, and real-world reviews. You can find all the MPG data there as well as iGauntlet extreme towing test results and everything about trucks. Andre with a fast lane truck and Kent with MrTruck.com. And Kent, what do we have today for Super Ike? Oh, we have a 2016 Chevy Duramax, heavy duty, 2500, long bed, gooseneck with the midnight package. Yeah, and a Z71. Yes. And I'm excited because we haven't done a three quarter ton with a gooseneck trailer. So this is going to be unpredictable, loaded to the max, and that's coming up right now. <laughs> 